Hello crafty friends, welcome to this video and to Gold Day in Rainbow Week slash Fortnite. I'm going to make a card using just white and gold and I've got two embossing folders, two dies and one stamp that says hugs and kisses. So the first thing I want to do is to heat emboss some gold onto some cardstock. I'm using smooth white cardstock today and I'm going to treat my cardstock with corn flour to remove any grease, fingerprints, static and I'm going to do the same to this side of my embossing folders just to get rid of any stickiness or static or grease and brush off that excess corn flour with this microfiber cloth. So this side of my embossing folders is where the pattern is raised. So I'm actually going to get a debossed pattern when I've done what I'm going to do. Now I am going to ink my brayer up with Versamark embossing ink. This is a, a refill and I just find this the easiest way of inking up my brayer. And I will roll it around till my brayer is evenly and fully coated and run that across this raised pattern on both embossing folders. And I'm going to wipe up this ink before I put something in it that I don't want to go in it. Make sure my fingers are dry and then place my paper on my embossing folders and then shut them and run them through my cuttle bag to do the embossing. So it'll be back in a tick. Now my circle one, I'm going to dip in clear embossing powder so that my debossed circles get a nice coating. Doesn't matter if it's not perfect. It all adds to the interest. And that, when I've heated it, will give a glossy look to the inside of those circles. This one, I'm going to dip in gold. And now I'll heat them one at a time to melt the embossing powder. So those have cooled down and they look good. Some of the areas have come out better than others, but I don't want the whole thing anyway. The card blank is approximately four by six inches. And I'm going to have XO, XO with the stamp in the middle, but the top portion I want to take out of this and the bottom portion I want to take out of this. But I want to choose the best bit of this one. So I'm thinking I'll cut along there, cut along there. And then I want it to come in a little bit. So I'm just eyeballing this. So we'll chop down there like that. Now, where did I put my stamp? So that will fit on there like that. And I want my hugs and kisses to be roughly in the middle. Seven and a half. So that's my middle line. Hugs and kisses like that across there. So that means I want to cut this about here. That is going to go on there like that. And then that is going to go down there. So I want this bit to be that size. There. So that should go there like that. Hugs and kisses in the middle. And that should fit up there like that. Now, what I want to do is to cut my X 
and my O out of these and transpose them. So I want to get them in the right place. I think that looks about middle-ish. And I'm going to hold them down with a sticky note, hopefully. And run those through my die cutting machine together as one piece. It won't cut through both, I don't think. But it will make an impression in the bottom one that I can then lock the dies into and cut them out again. That's the plan anyway. Now, I do need to be careful taking these apart because the embossing powder might have made... Oh, no, they have cut through. Look at that. But I still need to be careful just in case the embossing powder has made them stick together. No, we're good. I think I need to chop a bit off the end here. I think it's not quite balanced. So just a small amount. A little bit more. That looks about right to me. I want to pop these up on craft foam, I think, to give them a bit of dimension. But that means I need to stamp my sentiment first because it'll be a bit tricky if there is craft foam on there. So I'll pop this in my stamp positioner, pick it up, and I'm going to do it in black because I think if I do it in gold, it will get lost amongst all the other gold. That'll do. There's a little white spot there. I'm just going to fill in with a pen. And now I'm going to go over the back of these with foam. So I've got my two bits with foam on the back supporting all the different parts and I'm going to add them with the gold one at the top. I've actually turned the card upside down so that I can see more clearly where I'm putting it. I think with a gentle press down that is in the right place. And then this one is going to go at the bottom. about right get that pressed down nicely now I've got here the letters that we cut out I'm going to add a bit of glue to the back of these actually I'm going to add the glue in the aperture so I don't get glue all over my letters and I'm going to put the white X in the crosses hole And I'm going to put the white O in there. Now, I just need to work out which way up it's meant to go. That's it, because it's not symmetrical. And now, do the opposite down the bottom. Now everything should be in the right place. Just got to make sure it's all pressed down into the glue. And to draw the attention to the sentiment here, I'm going to add a couple of Nouveau drops, black ones. So it just adds a little bit of dimension to that middle portion so it doesn't look left out. And those black dots grab the attention and say, this is the sentiment, hugs and kisses. But, And then you can take in the rest of the card. Right, that's this card done and dusted. Actually, scratch that. This card isn't quite done, or it is now rather. As soon as I finished this video, I thought to myself, you know what? This card would look really nice on black cardstock. So I cut down the white card blank that I had stuck them on and added it to some black card. And I think that really pulls it all together. So there you go. That's this card done and dusted.
did. I do hope you like it and you've enjoyed the video. I have one more video for Rainbow Week slash Fortnite. I realised yesterday, I think it was, that I've used all but a handful of my Distress Oxides in this little series. So I thought I would do one more video using the handful of Distress Oxides that I haven't used yet. So do stay tuned for that. That will be up tomorrow. If you'd like to see more from me, do subscribe and ring that notification bell and I'll see you back here very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.